week, I have been thinking so much about the love of God. I mean, it's just been resonating inside of my spirit. And so when I was preparing for this devotional, the Lord kept giving me the title, Share the Love. Okay, this is, this is, my daughter just, she just shared this or this little Clementine with me. This is perfect. He said, Share the Love. Thank you so much. Here you go. He said, share the love. I want you to share the love. So what is this love we're talking about? We're talking about the love of God. We're talking about that transforming love. We're, we're talking about the power of God, his, his love that redeems and restores, that's never ending, that is unselfish. I mean, we're talking about the love that, um, set us free, right? It's that love that is on the inside of us that looks past people's faults, looks past their failures. It's the love that sees people in faith, <laughs> right? It's that love that um, loves the unlovable, that loves people that um, the world would try to forget. So to, today we're just going to simply talk about sharing the love. In John chapter 13, um, the past several weeks I've been just studying out the first, I don't know, I guess John 13 through 17. And I want to read this scripture. It's verse 34. It says, A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. By this all will know that you are my disciples, if you have love for one another. This is how people know you are a Christian, is if you love them like Jesus loves you. You see, you'll never go wrong when you love someone the way that Jesus loves them. We'll never miss it. We'll never make a mistake. I mean, in all that we do, we should love others the way Jesus loves them, the way that he loves us. When we speak the truth to someone, how are we supposed to speak that truth? In love. When we correct our children, how are we supposed to correct them? In love. Whenever we testify, how should we testify? In love. Everything that we do in life should be in love. That's how we're recognized as disciples of Christ. My question to you today is, is your life a, refle a reflection of the love of Jesus? I want my life to reflect God's love. So every person I come in contact with recognizes that Jesus is my Lord and Savior and that it's His love that um, has transformed my life. And then they want that love because when you experience the love of Christ, you don't want to experience anything else. Nothing in this world can compare to a life filled with the love of Jesus. There are a few different things I want to say today, a few notes that the Lord gave me in this that I'm going to wrap this up with. When you share the love of Jesus, how should we, how should we do this? Well, let's look how Jesus did it. Jesus had a never-ending love. It was endless. And then he was full of compassion. We need to be full of compassion to others. And then his love was based upon his Father. We need to base our love according to the Word of God and stay connected to the Father's heart. And then our love, it should, throw, it should flow through us by the power of the Holy Ghost. We're able to love others because we have boldness in the Holy Spirit to step out and the Holy Spirit reveals the truth of the Father to us. And then we can love you the way that you're supposed to be loved. So this week, share the love. You know, I've, my daughter's been sharing things this whole devotional. Step out, share the love with someone. Love them the way that Jesus loves them, and you'll never go wrong. Well, thank you all for joining me. I love you, and God is faithful, and I hope to see you soon. Bye.